I would say he's been faithful with his presence. I don't think there's a moment where I prayed and I didn't have this awareness that God was there. I didn't have this awareness that God was present. Um, and I think that was enough to bring me to bring me through. Um, so in times, I always, I always see this duality with God where, and that's what I felt last year too. And this year, obviously, um, I, still, I still feel it and I take it with me. This idea that what the Bible says, that the dark gets darker, the light shines brighter, you know, and the idea of, you know, we're all doing this for, for a reason. We're all, we're all playing this game up into a, a finish line and the finish line is his return. Uh, the Bible calls it the great and terrible day of the Lord. And I always say, because for some people it's gonna be great and then for other people it's gonna be terrible. So there's this, there's this duality that's happening. And for me, I can see that even in, in, in last year, that as there were a lot of bad things happening, there were also a lot of great things happening. I saw a lot of fruit in my own personal relationship with God. You know, I felt even more cemented, even more grounded. I took that opportunity and I feel like everybody else should have taken that opportunity as well of this shaking, um, not to look at what's going on around you, but to look what's going on inside of you and figure out where is your faith founded on. And if it's founded on what you can do, is it founded on what you can believe, then that's gonna shake and it's gonna fall. But if it's founded on God who remains faithful, who remains true, who his words are yes and amen, who his promises for you, um, he wrote them for you and there's not one word that's gonna fall on the ground. If he promised it, it's gonna come to pass. So if you can hold on to that, be steadfast in those words and that promise, that all of 2020 was the test of that faith, of, en of enduring faith, just like the rest of this life. It's all, a, it's all a fight of faith, it's a faith walk, right? And those who endure are the ones who win. It's not the ones who get there the fir first or anything like that, or last, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think that's what the Bible talks about, first shall be last. It means, it doesn't matter, as long as you get there, you know? Um, so I think now, in coming into this new season, I'm grateful for 2020, because that's where I got to see things as they really were. I got to see myself. Like I know everybody was like, oh, it's the year of vision. And everybody was writing down their vision, but I don't, I don't think they were really realizing that God was allowing people to see themselves in their real condition, their true condition in terms of their faith, in terms of what they actually believed and where their foundations were actually planted on. So I got a good look at myself. I was like, man, do I still believe God while there's, while there's um, a, a pandemic? Will I still believe God while you know everyone's losing their job around me? Am I still going to trust God when when I feel like you know there's division going on in, in, in ministry and in my family uh, while I'm sick? You know, am I still going to trust the Lord? And responding to that and saying yes gives me assurance that anything that comes afterwards or what is what is to come afterwards is going to be the good side, the light, and not not falling into deeper darkness, but actually shining brighter as the body of Christ.